Uh, thank you so much for clicking on my video today. Welcome if you're new and hi again if you're back. Um, my name is Rabbit, um, I use they them pronouns and today I wanted to film a get ready with me video that is like based on the theme of Draculaura like going to a sleepover party but like also she's like punk rock and I don't know. I'm <laughs> I just like wanted to try this thing and I'm really excited. Hi! So this is the final look. So I'm just gonna like do my makeup. I'm just gonna like list everything that I use below and like not really like go into detail of like what I'm doing. Um, Cause I have other videos that go into that. I'm just gonna like chat about Monster High while I get ready with my Draculaura makeup, Draculaura inspired makeup and my outfit and I'm gonna like talk about that. Also, side note, not Monster High related, is anyone else getting like major freaking mask knee, mask acne moments? Cause that is like one of the most frustrating skin struggles that I am having right now. It's like, I need to wash my mask more often. I try not to go out when I can, but obviously I go to work, have to wear it there. I hope other people are having a better time of it than I am. I guess that's something we could say about it. Um, that's positive. So, um, like I said, I just wanted to do like a monster high chat. I don't really know what I want to talk about, so I guess I'll just like start talking about like more of my favorite characters because I said I was going to talk about that in my last Dracula video and I think I talked about like one. I think I talked about Rochelle and like when I was editing it I was like what did I do? Okay so I have like different favorite characters depending on if we're talking about like aesthetics and like character design versus like personality and like what they actually do because I think that there's like some beautiful f***ing characters that have like very little role in like the movies and the uh, series and stuff and that like bums me out because I think they would be so cool like a prime example of that for me is River Styx like she looks so pink and I think she's really cute like I really like um the concept of her as a character I think it's like like she's the daughter of the Grim Reaper she looks like she's one of those like kind of shorter dolls like Twyla and Howleen that like has kind of yeah, they're like shorter and um, have like a little more, I don't know, they have like a different body shape than the like older dolls, um, which is weird. Um, and I wouldn't really know that if I didn't like wash them all the time and like, or like, cause all my dolls, dolls are thrifted. So I have to like give them baths and stuff before I, um, cause they always like come with like really effed up hair. So, um, always gotta like correct that by like shampoo, conditioner, the whole nine yards. Um, so I f yeah, I love River Sticks. Another character like that that I think is like super cool looking but doesn't get that much um, character development is Batsy Claro. Like, she looks so freaking cool. Um, and I guess my one complaint with her is that like since she's from Cos Costa Rica, Costa Frica, whatever. Um, I feel like it would be cool if she was like darker skin toned. Like it feels kind of, I don't know, maybe she's like an albino bat or whatever, but I don't think her eyes are, maybe they are. Maybe I'm like really off base right now. So sorry about that if I am. Um, I freaking love Abby so much. Like I remember before I watched Monster High and I like, saw art of her on Tumblr and I was like, who is this like muscular orc lady? Cause that's what I thought she was. I thought she was like an orc lady. I didn't know she was like a Yeti yet. Um, Yeti, <laughs> okay. Um, and I like saw her and I was like, this is like, the, like I love her like furry um, boots and her like furry headband, I guess you would call it. I was about to call it a hat, but it's not really a hat. And like all her like cuffs that are really furry and like the first time I heard her talk on screen and just like her Russian accent came out, I was like, oh my God, like I love her. Like, I don't know, I just like think she's so freaking cute and like, um, 
Yeah, I think my boyfriend thinks he's really cool too. Like, he doesn't really watch Monster High, but sometimes, like, because I watch it a lot, um, he'll, like, overhear some of it. Um, like, when I'm watching it, and I remember when, like, Abby talked, he was like, oh, whoa, she's, like, Russian Russian, and I was like, yeah. I also think Spectra looks really cool, and I think she has, like, pretty good, like, character development and stuff. Um, mostly I love her doll. Like, when I found that there was, like, a doll with clear hands and feet, I was like, this is the coolest freaking thing. Um, like, I couldn't get over it. I thought it was so sweet. And, like, um, I get so excited whenever I, like, find, like, her, like, dolls of her in, like, the thrift store or, like, on Facebook Marketplace and stuff. Like, I'm just like, oh, yes. Like, so cool. I haven't, like, modified any of her yet, um, but I really want to and I'm really excited, but I want to, like, really make the focal point, like, the cool, clear hands and feet, and, like, I'm not super sure what outfit would best accentuate that. Maybe, like, a really big, like, kind of skirt that's, like, short in the front, and you can see her feet, and then, like, super big sleeves that are, like, really long, but you can see her hands, you know what I mean? Like, the drapey moment. It would be fun. Anyway, I love Torelai. I love her personality and I love how she looks. Like, I know that she's like the bully and like whatever, but like, I don't know. She, her backstory, I love her backstory. Like, it's very sad, but also I'm like, yes, go there, Monster High. And, um, but I love like all the werecats. I think like the concept of werecats is so cool. Like, I love that there's a cat version of werewolves because I'm like definitely a cat person. I have two cats, their names are Lemon and Tuna. Tuna doesn't have a tail but she was born like that, but she's like the best. She's, yeah, anyway, sorry, also not a cat video. I don't know why I keep going off topic. I apologize for that. I also, I think Twyla is so freaking cool. And I love like the pairing of like Twyla and Hallie and like either as best friends or girlfriends, like I think they're like perfect together. I love how Twyla has like all the bug motifs on her like, outfit and stuff and I love like how she's the daughter of the boogeyman I love how she like hides in the shadows and is like super shy honestly like 13 wishes was one of my favorite monster high movies purely for the fact that there was that like section of it where all the characters were like goth versions of themselves I lived for that like uh I know they were like evil and whatever but like wisp was such a cool character I also love wisp oh my god um, and just like the shadow versions of the of all the characters where it's like so cool but I always like can't take it seriously when there's like that scene where it like pans over the student body and like all the freaking like students of Monster High are like wearing the How lead mask and it's like supposed to look like sinister or whatever but it, I just like crack up every time because it looks like so ridiculous I don't know maybe it is supposed to look ridiculous it probably is but um it's just like funny because like Wisp is like talking all like evil in the background and then it's just like all these like people with this little like wolf girl mask and it's like okay. Um, I also thought Monica Decay's character design was really cool. I know that movie sucked but her character design was cool and I freaking love Perry and Pearl. I'm so excited to modify my doll of them because originally I like found one at the thrift store and it was like, or no, I found one on Facebook Marketplace and it was like not in great condition, like it was missing like a couple pieces, but I got um, her with um, this, let's make a pan over, this Draculaura like coffin jewelry box that I always put all my makeup in for the video. It's so cute. It's, uh, it's like the dead tired one, which is um, the kind of like the look I'm basing this on a little bit, but not really because I love Dead Tired Draculaura. I think she's so cute. I like wish I had a doll of her. I don't, but like she's she's so freaking precious. And just like, I love her like sticking up hair. I love like all the Dead Tired line. Like I think it's adorable. And I, but, but I don't really wear like polka dots very often. And I don't really have polka dots in my wardrobe. I like, kind of have polka dots in the dress I'm gonna wear for this. But um, basically, I didn't really like feel like making like a whole, pajama set that like matched hers because I was like I'm not really gonna wear this like same with her like her cosplay like I made that whole outfit and I'm like I'm not really gonna wear this other than for this like video and like maybe some festivals or whatever but um or like more photos but um I didn't feel like making the like canon outfit quote unquote so I was like I'm just gonna do my own version 
of that look, like kind of modern day, but like in my own style with like the stuff I have in my closet, because that's easier and um, frankly, like a little bit more fun for me. Yeah. So I hope you guys, oh frick, I meant to put in my contact lenses before I started this. So I'm gonna do that and come back. Okay, I'm back. And that was like so much easier than last time. Like it was so pain free. I don't know what that was different. I guess I just like took my time. But it like did not take that many tries and it was real smooth and I'm very proud of myself for that. Also, I love Kiyomi. Like both her personality and like her story in Haunted and like her little crush on Draculaura and her look and all her um, accessories and stuff. Like she's one of the very few dolls that I got second hand that was like taken such good care of by the um, previous owners. Like she had her handbag, her bracelets, her necklace, her dress, her hair was really good, her um, stand that is weirdly way too big, like why did they do that? I get that they're like supposed to be ghosts and floating, but can I get a little bit of stability, please, you know what I mean? Anyway. Um, either way, yeah, I also got like this Dracubeca from them that had like all her pieces and I was like so freaking stoked when I got that because Freaky Fusion was like a pretty cool movie with a, I mean, I liked, what did I like about Freaky Fusion even? I don't know. I liked Hezekiah Smith, Hezekiah Steen, Jesus. Um, and I liked Rebecca's story, and I liked the whole like found family narrative. I didn't like at all the monster, the design of like Sparky's monster, I thought it was like, I hated the shoes, I thought they looked so weird. Um, should I not talk during eyeliner because I tend to screw it up when I do that? I don't know. I don't know, you guys. And I'm so happy I put the contact lenses in beforehand. Also, I really like Venus, um, like for her like little like side shaved head and um, her like punk outfits and stuff. I think that's really cool. I um, I didn't watch Monster High when I was younger because I didn't know about it or like I did, but I didn't want to watch it or whatever. Or like, I don't know, I was just doing other stuff. Like when I was that age, I was like really, into like animal rights and stuff and like I feel and like environmental stuff and whatever. Um which I still am. I think it's still very important. But um I feel like Venus would have been my favorite character if I watched Monster High back then. Um except like I don't get how like sometimes she talks in rhymes and like sometimes not. Like I'm not really sure like what that whole deal is about. And I like kind of wish I don't know. I just like don't I don't know. Like there's like that episode where like she's using like her power of pollen persuasion to like get people to like recycle and stuff and then they like do the fashion show and like whatever and like in parts of it she's like just only talking in rhymes and it's like i don't i don't know it was like a weird choice i thought but what do i know i'm like definitely not an animator or anything around that um i love elizabeth also she's like her outfit, like her main outfit that she wears is like my, like that's the outfit, like if I could have one outfit from Monster High, that's the outfit that I would have. Like I think it's so pretty, like in terms of like the canon outfits. I don't know if like, if I think of the doll lines, like what outfit I would want. There's like some cool freaking Draculaura outfits that I would not mind. Um, one of them that I like really want to make, there's like this one outfit that like I think it was from when like it was her Sweet 1600 and it was like if you got the box set um, of Claudine in like her purple suit and stuff, she came with like a dress for Draculaura that was like a present and it was like this like black top with like a pink striped like underneath. I think that was like the coolest thing ever. I like, yeah, I have um, like the doll version of that dress and I would love to make like a me sized version. I also think. Gigi's body sculpt is really cool, like all her little 
kind of like scaly moments and like same with Lorna has that like I have a doll that like Lorna has like this whole like Celtic pattern on her and then I have like a genify or like all the genifiers obviously have like that really cool scaly patterns I love that Monster High did those things with the dolls like I think those are so cool so those are like some of my favorite dolls like for that reason and I guess I was talking about movies that I liked so yeah I really liked Haunted like a lot because of like how visually appealing it was like I liked how it was all like pastel and like those the like dark castle like aesthetic just like I lived for that I thought it was so freaking cool I thought Skull Shores was cute Boo York Boo York was obviously amazing I love Luna Matthews. I thought she was like such a good character because I really like moths. For like my thesis, I made like this moth costume for one of my friends. And it was like one of my favorite costumes that I got to make. Um, it was so cool. Um, cool. You know, and then there's like some characters that I like wish that their character design would have been a little bit better. Like, I think Laguna could have been like so much more of a swamp monster kind of creature. Um, and I like don't really vibe with like the sporty look. I know that like some people, she's your favorite character and like, yeah, that's awesome. Like, go you. Um, but I just like never really vibe with her. I feel like Headmistress Bloodgood could have like a way cooler look. Um, sorry to say that. Like, I feel like that was a missed opportunity. And, like, I freaking love Claire. I think she's, like, such a cool character. But I don't know why she's wearing, like, jean shorts, it looks like. Like, I like her stripy socks. I love her sweatshirt. I think her makeup and hair is, like, so cool. Like, it kind of reminds me of Neil Gaiman's, like, death character. And that makes me so happy. But, like, what? Why jean shorts? And, um, Avia Trotter, I also, like, wish she was, like, way more, like, kind of, like, cool and, like, naturey and feral looking and, like, I don't know why she's like in a top hat and like that little blousey thing like these are just my opinions they are not correct it's just what I think but like yeah those are some characters that I wish had like a different design also I wish Gulia's shoes were different sorry but I really like her um her like fishnet um gloves and stuff yeah, yeah. it's good Caddy so. Noir is obviously super cool really like her. I wonder if I should change my top before I do this. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna put on my top real quick, but I'm gonna talk about it later. Also, Frankie. I don't know. Did I not mention Frankie already? I love the fact that she's like Frankenstein's daughter. I love that her limbs come off. I love her Cirque du Freak look. Cirque du, Cirque du Chic? Freak du Chic? Cirque du Freak is something else. That's like... A movie I think I saw a while ago, like a long time ago, on the wig. It's always so nerve-wracking to put it on because I don't know what I'm doing with wigs, you know? Like everyone has those things that they don't know about and just like don't bother to learn about, which is a lot of things for me. I don't know. There's like different things that I just like still haven't learned to do properly, like painting nails. I like still don't know like the right way to do it. I know that there's like not an objectively right way to do a lot of things, but I haven't found a way that works for me, I guess is like the more accurate way of saying that. Okay. Let's put you on. I have to get the ring moment. There's also this like background character that I wish had way more of like a backstory and stuff, and that's like that, I think she's either green or purple. She's like an elf girl and she has round glasses. I'm saying she, but I don't actually know her pronouns. Um, but they look super freaking cool, and I want to know more about the elves and Monster High because I've always been like hardcore into elves, which is like one of the reasons that I really like Dracula is because she's one of the characters that has elf ears, and I think that's super cool. Also, I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion. Probably not. But I watched this like Monster High like music video, whatever. And I wish that they were way more like monstrous, if that makes sense. I like feel the same way about the 
show itself. Like I know that it's like cool that they're all like glam and like whatever and they have like their eye coffins and stuff and like I love that part of it. But also like part of me just wants like a lot more like scariness and a lot more like them using their powers and stuff. And I'm really sad that like the reboot made them go the exact opposite way of that. That like was a huge bummer. But I really like that Claudina Nine made that video about why it happened. That like really enlightened me. And I love her channel. I think she's like so good. And if you like my stuff, I really think you should check her out because I love her so much. And you guys probably know about her if you're like watching me. Unless you came here from Tumblr, in which case, hello. But thank you. Either way for whatever reason you are here. I also love C.A. Cupid's look. Wish she had more like episode webisodes and stuff dedicated to her. Skeleta Calaveras also. Such a cool body sculpt. And I don't know if I mentioned Benita Femur. Uh, honestly, all the Freaky Fusions body sculpts I thought were so freaking good. And um, I'm like surprised at how many of them I've been able to find secondhand. I don't have all of them, but I have like a solid amount. Which makes me very happy and feel very blessed. Come on here, I need you to be like a little more alive up there. I'm scared to back home you. Cool. I'm gonna try to put some pigtails in to kind of amp up the volume again. But since it's a sleepover, I'm gonna use some like kind of adorable pigtails, like pony holders hair elastics. These guys, they're poofs. I feel like Draculaura would appreciate. They'd be extra cute if they had bad ones on them. I didn't think of until now. It would have been like a really cool addition. Also, I know I'm doing like Misa Amane hair kind of, and it's mostly because I think it helps amp up the volume of this hair best. Because if I just do low ponytails like Drek actually has, I feel like it'll be very um, like flat dead hair a little bit. Not that there's anything wrong with that, it's very cool and very goth look, but I like poofy hair, as you can probably tell from my hair at the beginning of this video. Um, I'm like being blinded by my wig a little bit. Anyway, I think I'm gonna finish my makeup now and then put a couple more things in my hair. Like that. And I know it's like a lot smaller than hers. And then she doesn't have two. But whatever, we're just like having fun, it's fine. So, hair clips. Because it's a sleepover. And like cute hair clips. Sleepover, why not? These ones. Maybe in my bangs. So this is like a cupcake and um, a spider web that I got when I was like way, oh, I think I was like probably 12 or something. These are like some stars that I got at the dollar store. So we're just gonna go keep going with jewelry. This is a choker that I'm pretty sure I got on Wish. Um, I like it. I think I've worn it before in a video. So, then I have like a cool lock necklace that I just think is cool, but um, the lock is from, like my dad just had like a bunch of locks and keys in a box. It's like, do you wanna look through this box? And I was like, yeah, had a bunch of other stuff in it too. So I made a necklace out of that. And then I have like a little locket that um, I found at the thrift store. I think Dracula would wear a locket with like hearts and stuff. Same with like the choker heart themed bracelets. I got this cool spiky one from when I used to volunteer at the thrift store. Another one from the thrift store and another one from the thrift store. Can you see a trend here? I haven't been to the mall, like the regular mall. Like I go probably like very, I try to avoid it as much as I can. Got some rings that my finger is too big for now. Wow, that's new. Who would have thunk? So, just like some cool, random ones. Gonna put some like 
body go down? Ooh, earrings, obviously. Okay. So I've got these little bats. Oh. Got them at the rock shop in Vancouver. They were 99 cents each. They also have like sword earrings and stuff there. It's a super cool shop. I don't know if they have an online store, so sorry if you're not in Vancouver. Neither am I anymore, but it was cool while I was there. Also, this is like a safety pin. Kind of like hers that she has, you know, and her character ears. I love the Dracula I has out because I think it's so cute. Probably should have put my earrings in after, but it's fine. That kind of covers up my hair issue that I'm having at the moment. Don't super know what it is, but it sucks. Cool, so this is the makeup look done. So I already have on my jewelry that you can see and this like little night skirt that I found at the thrift store. And it's like kind of like baby doll style and has like this really cute bow on it. Um, and like little polka dots. That's tuna. And then I have a petticoat that I'm gonna be wearing. Um, this top that I embroidered some bat wings and a moon onto quite a while ago. Some uh, gloves that I'm kind of rethinking now that I see that I have bracelets on, but we'll see. Uh, pink and black striped socks and these like garter things. So let's get to it. So, geez, okay. I didn't mention my shoes before, but this is them here. They're Demonia brand. I feel like Dracula would totally wear platform shoes like this and they match, like the heart matches the heart that matches this one. Um, I really had fun making this video. I hope you had fun watching it. Thank you so much for watching and staying with me this whole time and like tuning in like that means so much to me and um whoa hmm. thank you i hope to see you again soon and um feel free to comment and let me know like what you thought if you would like other like dracula or get ready with me's um because i think that would be like really fun and that's all i got bye for now <laughs>